Hey everyone, John Dickinson here and welcome back to the basics of Rhizome UV. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at all of the basics of grouping. So if you've downloaded the work files, come up to the files menu and choose reload with UVs because I've already unwrapped these objects. And these are three motorcycle parts. First thing we're going to do is concentrate on this little piece here. So making sure you're in island mode, just middle mouse button click and that will select that entire object. So to group that, we can come up to the Island and Groups panel and we can click on the Group button. But as with most things in Ryzen UV, there is a hotkey. You can see that there, that's G. So hit G and notice now how the selected islands are in this grouping box or grouping frame. So let's just click outside this area to deselect. Now we can reselect those islands a couple of ways. One way is to double click using the left mouse button on one of the islands and that will select all of the islands in that group. Or we can click on the word content and that will also select those islands. Now to move them, we can hold down the tab key and just click and just move those outside this area. Just like that. Just gonna undo that. And now let's deselect. And let's just press P and see what happens. And because pack all is on and that's on by default, you can see that this group has been packed down here in the corner and everything else has been packed around it. Let's undo that. And let's just deselect pack all and pack again. Notice how the islands have been resized, but they still maintain the same position in relation to one another. All right, let's turn pack all back on. And let's change the shape of the group frame just by clicking on a corner and dragging just down like this. Now if we pack again, the islands themselves aren't scaled, but the box is, but it keeps that same aspect ratio. So now let's resize that box again. And this time we'll make it vertical, but we'll make it too small to fit all of the islands. Maybe something like that. And now let's pack again. And notice how it keeps the same aspect ratio, but the box increases in size so it can fit all of the islands. Okay, so now let's resize that box once more. Going to grab a corner here. May just also press E just to maximize this area. So make it, I guess, uh, just a, a square shape. And this time, select all of the islands and pack. And because we only have those islands selected, only they get packed. Okay, let's just undo that. And let's try it with pack all turned off. So we'll just deselect, uncheck pack all, and then reselect and pack again. And because the islands are selected, pack all makes no difference to the behavior. All right, so now let's just drag the grouping box by a couple of the corners to just move it away from the content. Let's select the content and pack. And notice how the frame didn't move. To have the contents and the frame be packed at the same time, we have to select both. And if we pack again, the frame and the content gets packed. Okay, now with that still selected, let's just invert the selection by pressing Control I and now clicking H just to hide those selected islands. And let's just select everything and hold down tab, move that up right into the middle there and we'll just resize the group box. Just select the contents and pack again. Okay, so as we saw a moment ago, the selected content is packed and the frame is resized, but the frame doesn't change position. Okay, so now let's just deselect the islands, increase the group frame, select the frame and pack again. And the islands aren't repacked, they're just scaled up as a group. And if you've watched the previous packing tutorial, you'll know that this happens because we have a scale optimization range set to full. Okay, let's undo. Select everything and pack again. 
And now the islands are scaled up and repacked and the frame is scaled up and repositioned. So the result you're gonna get depends on what you have selected. And those are the ways that you're gonna use grouping the most often. Now to ungroup, you can either select the contents or the frame and just come up and click on ungroup or use the hotkey control G. I wanna keep these grouped for now. So let's just undo that. And what if we want to just remove a couple of islands from the group? Well, let's, let's select a couple, maybe this one and this one, and press Control-G. And it looks as if nothing's happened, but if we click on Content, notice how only the islands that are actually in the group get selected. To add those two islands back to the group, just select them and click the Add button. Now notice that the Add button doesn't have a defined hotkey. Another thing to keep in mind is that islands that you want to add to a group have to be over that group frame. Click on content, and now everything's back in the group. All right, now what I wanna do next is point out a behavior with groups that confused me until it was explained. If we select an island, doesn't matter which one, and just drag it out, notice how the group frame expands to fit the selection. But if we change the size of the frame and do that again, that behavior no longer happens. Now, the reason is because changing the size of the group frame enters us into what's called editing mode. And it's only a minor difference, but I was wondering why that behavior happened, and that's exactly why it happens. All right, so come up here and click on Show or press Y to show all islands, and let's just pack again. And this little guy is still hanging out there, so what we'll do is we'll click on Pack All, Try that once more. All right, looking good. Now let's take a look at the different locking modes. So we'll come in and just select everything. Hold down tab, move that up, just dump it somewhere up here on top of the other islands. And the first locking mode is lock. Let's click on that. And if we just deselect, notice how both the content and the frame is black. So if we pack again, everything gets packed around it. So let's select everything again, and we'll just deselect lock. And I'm just gonna resize the frame just to fit across the top of the UV tile, just like this. Now, with the frame selected, let's choose the next option, which is locked frame. and pack. And the islands get packed inside the frame which hasn't moved. So you can see that's very handy. What you will notice though is some of the islands are actually overlapping the group frame. And this of course is the standard behavior because we most of the time want to maximize the packing space. So let's just select the frame again and we'll choose this option here, outline, and pack again. Uh, see the difference? Now that forces all of the other islands that aren't part of the group to be outside the group frame. So this option is really handy when you want to use various groups and subdivide the UV tile. All right, so let's deselect outline. We've got to make sure we're selected here first. Deselect that. And we'll change the size of the frame. Something like that. Put it selected, just deselect locking and pack again. And also just change the size, content selected and pack. All right, so as we saw before, the frame is resized, but it does retain the new aspect ratio. Let's undo that. So we'll keep the frame at that aspect ratio. And with the frame only selected, let's choose the next locking option, locked shape, and pack again. See the difference? Now the frame shape and size is retained. All right, so let's just deselect that one and we'll select everything and we'll just remove the group and pack again. Now, the last locking option here is for stacked islands and that works in conjunction with topocopy. So let's start by selecting one of these rings and notice down here in the topocopy panel, 
is this option here. If we click this, this will select all of the similar islands and stack them on top of this one. So I'll click that one and there we go. So a couple of them have been moved and added into that stack and there's the word stack there. Let's double click on one of these islands just to select everything that's in that stack. Click on the word stack with shift held down. Notice how that selects the stack group as well. And up here in the islands and groups panel, you can see that that is actually selected. Currently, the selected state is actually not quite clear. It's not dark enough, but I'm hoping for a version in the future that actually makes that a little clearer. So if we pack again, notice how the stacked islands were moved, but not redistributed. So this is a really important option when you've spent time stacking islands and you want to repack them, but you don't want to disturb the stack. And if you just press E, just to show the 3D view, let's select this entire object and we'll just select this part of it as well. And we'll press G to group, P to pack, and I to isolate. All right, now let's just select this part here and group again. And notice up here it says G2 nested. So that selection is now a nested group inside the first group. So let's select everything and pack again. And everything that's selected gets packed. Now, if you remember from earlier, to remove an island from a group, we press Control G. Notice how if we select the parent group though, that island gets selected because it's still part of the parent group. If we want to remove it from both groups, we press Control G again. Ah, there we go. If we grab that island, hold down tab, just move that out into the parent group, hit plus. Now that's added to the parent group. Something to keep in mind is if the groups are overlapping, then that island gets added to the highest number in the group hierarchy. All right, so once again, let's just show everything. We can hit Y and just going to select that one and just remove the group and remove the group and pack. Notice how our stack is still maintained because it's still locked up here. But let's middle mouse button this time. And if we middle mouse button, that's going to select the islands in the stack, but also the other islands that are part of that object. Now, in order to nest the stack, we need to keep the frame selected, but deselect the islands. So just holding down control, just drag a marquee to deselect those and press G to group. So notice now that it says stack nested and we have a larger group frame that's encompassing all of the selected islands. So let's select everything by clicking on content and pack. And there we go. You can see how everything gets packed and the stack is still maintained. Okay, so to finish up, the last thing I want to mention is this option here, group overlapped. So let's just set this up. Just grab any old islands, just want to maybe get them around the same size. Just overlap a couple, maybe that one and that one, and that one and that one, and just select those and select those. Actually, what we'll do first is we'll deselect those and we'll click on group overlapped. And I want you to watch what happens here to our stack. So notice how anything that's overlapping gets grouped, but because the contents of our stack is overlapping, it gets converted to a group. If you don't want to do that, you actually have to select the things that are overlapping. Try that again. And then they get grouped and our stack's not affected. All right, so that was a lot to cover. I suggest going through this step by step. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. But for now, this is John Dickinson for Rhizome UV. I'll see you in the next tutorial.